Hi everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to make this type of glass morphism effect in Adobe Illustrator. First, create a new document of these dimensions. I have these colors which I use for the background design. Go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Then apply this color with the help of the eyedropper tool. Go to the object menu, lock then selection, or press Ctrl plus 2. Now select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Hold the Alt button and create a copy of it. And set it here. Change fill to outline. Go to the Direct Selection tool. Select and delete these points. Drag this little down. Then select both the point and press Ctrl plus J. And smooth it a bit with a smooth tool. Increase its size and set it in the center and increase its stroke weight. Select the gradient tool and open the gradient panel and apply the gradient to it. Use these two colors for the gradient. Hold the shift button while applying the gradient. Change linear to radial gradient. Now draw a circle. Follow my gradient settings on it. Hold the Alt button to create a copy of it. And change its gradient. Create another copy. Change one side opacity of the gradient to 0%. And create a copy of it. Unlock the background. Select all. Right click on it and choose group. Now select the rectangle tool and click on the artboard. Use these dimensions. Change its color to white. Set it in the center and round its corners a bit. Select the background and copy it and then paste it in front. Now select the white rectangle and create a copy of it. Select the background and apply Gaussian blur to it. Use these settings for blur. Select both, go to the object menu, clipping mask and make. And paste the previously copied rectangle. Now open the gradient panel and follow my gradient settings. Change its blend mode to soft light and bring down opacity to 80%. Paste the previously copied rectangle again. Change its color to this gray. Go to Effect menu, Texture then Texturizer. Use these settings and hit OK. Change its blend mode to soft light, bring down opacity to 60%.
Paste the rectangle. Change fill to outline. Apply a gradient to the outline. Paste the rectangle. And apply a drop shadow to it. Follow my shadow settings. Change its blend mode to multiply. Now go to the file menu, then place. I have this card details. All the assets of this design are linked in the description, you can download it for practice. Change its blend mode to overlay. Copy and paste it and change mode to normal. Bring down opacity to 60%. Click on trim view. And that's it. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel. Where I upload graphic related tutorials. Thank you for watching.